Safety is everyone's responsibility, regardless of what part of the facility you work in. The laundry facility is no different. There are potential safety hazards and concerns in the laundry facility that you need to be aware of. Everybody wants and deserves a safe and accident-free work environment, but it takes teamwork and paying attention to safety to reach this goal. Your company has provided you with training and equipment to perform your job safely, but safety is really up to you. You need to follow company policies and procedures on every job, every day. If you do that, you'll be doing your part in helping to reduce accidents and injuries in the workplace. The laundry room is full of activity, and we know that you are busy doing your job, but safety is part of that job. You owe it to yourself, your family, and your co-workers. Regardless of how busy you are, you cannot afford to disregard safety rules. They're there for your protection. You may notice a safety hazard in your workplace and think it's no big deal because someone else will report it. Not true. It's your responsibility to report hazards immediately to your supervisor so corrective action may be taken before an accident or injury occurs. We can't cover every aspect of safety in this short video. We just want to provide you with the basics to help you be a safer, more effective employee. If you have any questions, please ask your supervisor. Let's begin with chemical safety. Chemicals are a vital part of any laundry operation. Without them, laundry could not be effectively cleaned. When working with or around any chemical, you need to take precautions. If you follow these precautions, the chemicals you work with are perfectly safe, but you may need to wear personal protective equipment, such as gloves, in order to ensure your safety. How do you know what kind of protection is required for each chemical? The answer is Material Safety Data Sheets, or MSDS. The MSDS contains all the information you need to know about any chemical you work with, such as ingredients, hazards, first aid, personal protective equipment, and more. If you are unsure about a chemical, ask your supervisor for the MSDS. You can never be too safe or too informed about the chemicals that you work with. Laundry is sent to you from different departments throughout the facility housekeeping, the kitchen, and others. Each of these departments use different chemicals in the performance of their job responsibilities. You need to be aware of what chemicals are on what items before you launder them. Some chemicals, when mixed together, can be quite deadly. Let's give you an example. A kitchen employee may have to use ammonia on a rag to clean something in the kitchen. That's perfectly okay as long as there was proper ventilation. Ammonia on its own is perfectly safe when used properly. But if you take the ammonia-soaked rag and launder it with detergent containing bleach, you have just created a very hazardous condition. Ammonia and bleach, when mixed together, form a deadly combination called chloramine gas. Chloramine gas can kill you. Now this isn't meant to scare you. It's just to let you know that chemicals can be hazardous if you don't pay attention to the rules. Never mix bleach and ammonia. Stain removers and certain detergents can also be a hazard. That's why it's vital to your safety and the safety of those around you to always read the chemical label and the MSDS sheet for each chemical that you use and always wear the required personal protective equipment. You can't afford not to. Moving machinery can also be a hazard if safety precautions are not followed. Never, under any circumstances, put your arms, hands, or other body parts into moving machinery. Moving parts of machines must be equipped with machine guarding to protect employees. Machine guarding covers dangerous moving parts, but it only works if properly installed and maintained. Never remove or disable any guard on any machine. If you notice a damaged or missing guard, 
notify your supervisor immediately. Guards may have to be removed to perform routine maintenance. In this case, the machine will be locked out and tagged to prevent anyone from operating the machine while the guards are removed. Only authorized personnel are allowed to remove locks and tags. Loose-fitting clothing and jewelry should not be worn around machinery. Loose sleeves or a necklace might get caught in the machine, pull you into moving parts, and cause you great physical harm. No loose clothing or jewelry. Another important safety consideration is proper ventilation. There is a lot of heat and humidity in the laundry room, and without proper ventilation, mold and mildew can accumulate. Ventilation also keeps the heat down and makes your facility a more comfortable place to work. While we're talking about heat, let's take a minute to talk about lint fires. Lint fires can be catastrophic, yet they are quite easy to prevent. Clean the lint filter often and remove all of the lint. Excess lint buildup, combined with the high temperatures produced by commercial drying equipment, are a recipe for disaster. Make sure all lint traps are clean. Not only is it good fire prevention, it's good common sense. Laundry will dry much quicker in a dryer with a clean trap. You also need to know the location of all fire extinguishers in your work area, as well as emergency evacuation procedures in case of fire or other emergency situation. If an emergency situation occurs, remain calm and follow your company's plans and procedures. Now let's move on to safe lifting procedures. You've probably heard it a million times, bend your legs, not your back. The reason you've heard it so much is back injuries are painful and debilitating, and a serious back injury can prevent you from earning a living or enjoying your leisure time as you do now. Nobody wants a back injury, so let's take a quick look at ways you can help reduce your risk. Never bend your back when lifting. Most laundry bins are designed so as the bin is emptied, the remaining load rises to make lifting easier. Never bend over and reach into a bin to lift anything. Your back is a complex and sensitive structure made up of vertebrae, discs, and nerves. The discs are made of a soft, jelly-like substance that act as shock absorbers between the vertebrae. Bending over and lifting puts pressure on these sensitive discs and greatly increases the likelihood of an injury. Never twist while lifting. This too can damage your back. You may twist and lift every day, and you haven't experienced an injury or back problem yet. Did you notice we said yet? That's because if you continue to twist and lift, sooner or later you will have a back injury. Instead of twisting, lift the item safely, pivot your feet, then set the item down. It doesn't take any more time, and it could prevent a great deal of pain and suffering. If an item is too heavy to lift on your own, ask a coworker to help you. Don't try to lift it yourself. You'll be sorry. You've been trained and taught proper lifting procedures, but it's your responsibility to lift safely. Nobody can do it for you. It's your decision. Make the right choice, the safe choice. One more thing. Keep in mind that you're handling chemicals and dirty laundry as you do your job. For this reason, you must always wash your hands thoroughly before touching or eating food. Remember, wash your hands. Well, did we leave anything out? A million things. We couldn't possibly cover every safety hazard you may encounter on the job. That's why it's up to you to pay attention to safety and do your part to reduce accidents and injuries. You work in the facility every day, and no one knows your job better than you. The training you've received should help you perform your job in a safe manner, but it's really up to you. Obey all posted warning signs. Read and follow all instructions on chemical labels and MSDS sheets. Lift safely. Report hazardous conditions to your supervisor so they can be corrected. But most of all, use your common sense and good judgment 
and make yourself personally responsible for a safe and accident-free workplace. Take pride in your job and in safety. Nobody can do it for you. Thank you 